What is up, Cratics? Welcome back to the Tuners DLC. In this video, we'll be customizing the brand new Karen Previon. So this is the last drip feed vehicle of this update. It officially released today, September 9th, 2021. Again, the last car. So we had seven drip feed cars total. And this is the last one of the update. That's it. There's no more. Um, now, there are some liveries and stuff that are going to be drip fed for some of the uh, drip feed cars that Rockstar hasn't released yet. Um, and some other things as well. But in terms of car content and stuff like that, major content in the game, we pretty much have everything. Um, so here it is, 1.1 million is the trade price as you can see here, and the regular price is about 1.5 million. So very cool car, I already bought it. Look at that. Very cool, and something I really like about this car, it is in the coupes class, not in the sports class. Like, every car that Rockstar adds in the game, they pretty much throw everything in the sports class. This is actually in the coupes class, which we haven't had updated in a very long time um, and this car is rumored to be the king of the coupes class so for those of you who don't know the coupes class has been ruled by the Ubermach Zion which is an OG 2013 <laughs> vehicle um, for track performance that's pretty much been the king so this one is rumored to dethrone that one um, supposedly it's not going to be by much so the Zion might still be somewhat competitive but this one will probably be faster on the track but anyways, for those of you who don't know, this car is primarily based on the Lexus SC400, the first generation. And some can argue that it's also based on the Toyota Soar because of the Karen badge. But the Soar was right-hand drive, and the Previon is left-hand drive. So I think we can technically say that it's closer to the SC400. Also, for those of you who claim the Previon's based on the SC300, which comes with the 2JZ inline-6, that is also incorrect because the Previon has a V8 engine model and exhaust load configuration like the SC400. So again, <laughs> mainly the SC400, this car, from all the little things here and there. These cars are built on the same platform as the famous Mark IV Supra, and that's where they have a pretty good following of car enthusiasts. Plus, they're pretty affordable for the most part, depending on the condition, and they're very reliable as well. Just very cool cars. All right, let's go ahead and get started with the customization. There you can see coupes on the bottom right. Very cool. All right, armor, brakes, bumpers. We got custom front bumper. Very different there. Okay. Street. Race from bumper, okay. Drift setup. I do like the street one a lot. Yeah. The race from bumper is okay. Drift setup. Not a fan of that either. Yeah, definitely the street. Let's do that. Rear bumper. You have a rear diffuser. And then rear tipped diffuser. Or primary tipped rear diffuser. Eh, I'm not... I think that's a bit excessive for this car. I feel like an extension of the stock uh, that it has there, that kind of stock diffuser line, I think that would have been really nice, but unfortunately all we have is these crazy like race car style or drift options. Alright, continuing here we have uh, engine block, so you have primary V8 engine, ridged, secondary, hmm, I think secondary would be cool with the ridge, why not? You see the difference there, very nice. You see the V8 engine model there, obviously, as I was talking about earlier. And then these are different valve covers. Oh, so it covers what we just did. <laughs> okay. Okay, chrome mesh. That's pretty cool. Smooth. The smooth rail covers are nice, but that just covers what we just paid for, which is kind of funny. Ridge rail covers. Wow, a lot of options here. The full rail covers are nice. What is this? Race? Okay. APX rail covers, that's nice. Makes it look a bit more modern. Brush GT. Wow. A lot of options there. I like the carbon APX ones. Maybe with the primary? Or the... Or the uh, maybe the secondary? Oh, it's all carbon. Hmm. I, the APX is nice. Let's do that. Primary APX. A strep brace. It already comes stock with a strep brace. Look at that. Um, we have all the different options here. 
think I'm gonna go maybe titanium with this one. Let's see here, yeah, I think I'm gonna go titanium. Go with the titanium strut brace. I think that's the only titanium one here, maybe, from what I can tell. Yeah, all right. Uh, air filters, oh, look at that. That is sick, and the manifold too. So you have plastic upper insect manifold. Okay, different options there. Brushed, okay. Camaro style LT1 cover, <laughs> okay. Hmm. I like the plastic upper insect manifold. It's a bit more detailed. I think it looks a bit better. Um, these other ones, I think they're a bit too kind of like modern looking. I'll do the plastic one. Engine tunes. Exhaust. Let's rev it up here to get rid of the smoke. So you got square exit exhaust. Dual titanium. Dual. You got street. That looks really good. You got titanium tipped. Oh boy, that's a bit... <laughs> Angled and then oh boy. All right, definitely the street. That is that's nice and clean. I like that. Let's do the street uh, Fenders Oh, so you got like a little subtle wide body there Look at that. That's funny. It's got the bolts on This is the clean version of that and it adds like a vent Okay Very very subtle, but I think it looks pretty cool. Why not? Let's do it primary rear fenders Look at that. That's funny. It's just so subtle, but I think it, it kind of adds to it. It's nice. And then bolted. Yeah, definitely the clean one. We'll do the primary rear fenders. Intercoolers. You got custom intercooler. The logos. Twin fans. And the water sprayer. So you might be wondering why we have an Anis logoed um, intercooler on a Karen car. Um, and that's because... I think the only manufacturer of intercoolers in this game is Anis, so that's that's kind of like the reasoning behind that, as so I've been told. Um, but I still kind of find it kind of weird that we have a pretty much Nissan intercooler. I, I don't know. I, I get it. That's the manufacturer, but it's just kind of weird to have that. I think we'll do the non-logoed one, just a custom intercooler. A headlights. You have all the different colored glass here, for those of you who like that. Or you got hood. You got stock carbon hood. Nice. Got see-through hood. Oh, you can kind of see the engine bay in there. Kind of cool. You got vented. Street. That's pretty. I like the street one a lot. Fully vented. Okay. Wow. Side vented. That's way too many vents. It looks almost like, uh, I don't know, like steps. <laughs> a bit too much. Um, wow. Tudor hood. Bit, bit much there. Okay. I think I think the vented I like this one a lot. I think it's a nice happy medium, um, and the carbon weave is a bit too thick on there. I think I'm gonna go with the street, just a regular painted street. Okay, interior. So you have dash. So you have full color dash. Oh, it makes the headliner that way too. Okay, so I guess this ties into your secondary color. If you want like secondary color added to your dash, you can choose this one. Then you have the semi stripped interior. See how that looks there? Oh yeah, there you go. The handbrake, drift stick, and all that. <laughs> and the uh, floor as well. Kick plates. Okay. You got the race dash. And the carbon stripped. It's not even... The back seats are still there, though. Usually this last option gets rid of the back seats, so on this one it does not. Okay. I think the, the semi-stripped interior, but I don't like how that color transfers over. I think we're going to do a black interior anyways, so might as well. We'll do a semi-stripped. Dials. You have all the extra dials here. Okay. Doors. If you want to pull like a racing door panel, you can do that. Okay. Seats. Sports seats. Oh, with the stitching. So it's, it's like it's pretty much the same seat, but this one's more detailed, I guess. You can see it has the, the, the stitching on there, too, which the other one doesn't. Oh wow, and then you have the back part. Oh, that's cool, and the carbon and all that. Ballistic fiber, painted. Oh no, we got the different seats here. Okay. At least I didn't forget the seats in this one, unlike the Sultan RS Classic. <laughs> Alright, let's do the... Oh, but wait, wait, what? Wait, you guys are seeing that, right? The painted and carbon ones don't have the stitching, the colored stitching. That's... Come on, Rockstar. That's that's a bit of an oversight. 
<laughs> oh man. Oh well, I guess that's whatever. I, I like. I want to have the carbon back. I think that's pretty cool. Adds a bit of life into the interior a bit. Uh, steering wheels. So you have the stock steering wheel here. And to mention, this interior is very similar to the regular Coquette. So I think that's where they got it from. Anyways, you have all the different steering wheel options here. And the steering wheel is not even centered with the column, so that's that's nice. <laughs> um, all the options there. I've never seen this one before. This carbon one. Sprint. Featherweight. I've never seen that. That's pretty cool. Um, I think one with the Karen logo is definitely what we should go with. I like the Rally Basic. I think that's fine for this. See? Yeah. Rally Basic. Let's do that. Very simple. Nothing too crazy. It's a stock steering wheel on this thing. Looks pretty bad. Um, you got street half cage. See it there from the outside as well. Okay. You got dash dodger cage. So more, more like a full roll cage almost. Oh boy. You can see how it goes around there too. Okay. Padded. No, that's a full roll cage. Oh my gosh. <laughs> then a padded full. Okay, definitely gonna skip out on the roll cage. Um, lights. Gonna leave the stock ghetto lights. I think that's part of like, the character of this car. Very 90s. <laughs> Alright, liveries. So you have racing stripes. You have it black. You got Karen stripes. Okay. Karen stripes in yellow. Shopping list. Can't go wrong with a shopping list livery. And then you got it in white. Okay. Classic Karen. <laughs> what a classic Karen. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Stance and dress. Um, very cool. I don't know why that's what I thought of when I saw that livery. <laughs> uh, power metal drift team. And that's all the options there. Hmm. Well, I kind of want to paint this car like a solid color. I don't really, I don't think there's a livery that matches with the build I'm trying to do. Um, we might go back to it. Um, Let's, let's get to the paint first. Alright, mirrors, you got secondary, then you got carbon. I think I'll leave them stock, honestly. The, the carbon weave, I don't know why, a lot of the parts on this car, the carbon weave is just too big. I don't know. It looks strange. It almost looks like fake carbon fiber. I don't, it just doesn't look right. Got license plate. Let's do the, I got my JDM plate here somewhere. Uh, there it is. I'll do a black background, why not? Respray, so okay, so for this one, let's get rid of the pearl that's on there, and then we'll go to crew black, and I think this car in black, it looks so good, I don't know what it is about it, but I just feel that it, it suits it really, really nicely, um, here's some other colors as well for those of you who want to see what it looks like, um, you know, there's a lot of other colors you can make it in that it looks pretty good as well, you know, like the darker reds and um, white as well looks really good, or like, uh, I mean, again, many different cool colors you can put on this, but to me, the black, it just, it looks so good on this thing. And we're doing the crew black as well, which is a bit darker than the regular black in game. You can see the back and forth there. Um, so, crew black, a uh, secondary color is your brake caliper, or your brake calipers that are actually inside of the rotors for some reason. You guys see that, right? That's, that's, that's a bit of a yikes. Is it the same in the back? Kind of. Oh boy, that's a bit of an oversight there. Okay. Um, what else does it change? Change anything else? I think it's just... Oh, the door handle? Little little edge of the door handle? That's weird. Well, I want red brake calipers, so I guess we'll just do red, Torino red. Um, trim color. I believe when you change the wheels, it fixes that brake caliper issue, but... Interior color, yeah, so here's the issue I was talking about earlier. So let's say you want to do a red interior, but you also want the street interior. Um, then you have the issue where you have <laughs> way too much red in there. I mean, the entire dashboard, the headliner, it, it, it's just too much. <laughs> it's just too much. So um, I think I'm going to go with the black or the uh, graphite, do the graphite there. Looks a little more kind of like stock. Okay. And we got a subtle hint of red in there with the little uh, red 12 o'clock on the steering wheel and red stitching on the steering wheel as well. Looks good. Um, accent color is just the gauges. So for those of you that want to change that, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Uh, roof. So you have different roof scoops. Okay. <laughs> Skirts. So you have street skirt. Very nice. 
You got tuner skirt, you got race skirt, custom skirts, and then street race setup. I like the custom skirt, that's pretty nice. It's got a bit more uh, angles to it. Do that. Splitters, oh look at that, nice. So you got plastic, primary, carbon street with the canards, okay. Oh boy, yeah, a bit too much there. Um, hmm, I think the primary splitter is nice for this. It's a nice subtle addition to it, I like it. The primary splitter. Okay, spoiler upgrade, so you have a small spoiler. Okay, custom spoiler, that's that's too big. <laughs> it's too wide, actually. Um, street spoiler, tuner, race, oh boy. Just gets crazier and crazier, doesn't it? Oh my goodness. Stack spoiler, chassis mounted, oh jeez. Okay. <laughs> Wow, you know, I'm gonna be honest, there aren't really any sort of, like, clean spoiler upgrades for this car. They're all kind of big. Even the small spoiler, it looks okay. Um, hmm. I would've liked some lip spoilers or something, or, I don't know. This is, or a smaller version of this would've been decent as well. Or I guess we'll do a small spoiler, I don't want to leave it without a spoiler, so. Uh, sun strips, for those of you who like those options there. Suspension, we definitely have to lower this. It's way too high. Wow, look at that. Oh, camber gang. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, jeez. Of course that's an option for this car. Um, okay, I want to lower it, but definitely not that much. I think the, uh, the street suspension is perfect. Do that. Transmission. Turbo. Wheels. Okay, so hopefully this, ch this fixes that brake caliper issue. Let's see. It does not fix that brake caliper issue. <sighs> Come on, Rockstar. How did you how did you mess that up? Come on. Come on. This car cost over a million dollars. How did you mess that up where the brake caliper is literally sunk it into the rotor? Oh, man. Um, one thing I didn't notice, you can see when you change the uh, wheels, they actually get thinner. So that's a bit strange, the way that works there. See from the back here, see stock is nice and wide, and then any custom wheel you put, it's it's thinner. I, this car is a bit of a mess, I don't understand that. <laughs> and now our wide body looks kind of weird, without the stock wheels. And the stock wheel design, it's okay, but it just doesn't really suit this car too well. I mean, it kind of does, but I'm not a fan of that stock look. Um, let's go to the track category, let's see what we can find here. I think I was going to put... Where are they? I think these will look pretty good on this car. In black, do the pure business. We got a little bit of chrome contrast there. That looks pretty good. Um, and then we can also do the streets, which I was my second option. Let's see which one looks better. The Endo V4 dished. That looks a lot better. Yeah, Endo V4 dished. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, got that there. Windows. Should we black it out? Yeah, might as well black it out. Alright, that's all the options there, not too bad. Alright, let's take it for a drive. Alright, let's rub it up a bit. Sounds kind of like, like the XA21 a little bit. Very interesting. Alright, let's floor it. Yeah, that's a little bit... <laughs> I like the XA21. That's kind of funny they gave it that exhaust note. It definitely drives like a coupe. It feels, it feels quicker in the Zion. Definitely, acceleration-wise. Again, that's it's gonna that's gonna be it's what it's gotta compete against, so it's not like crazy fast, but I mean it's pretty pretty decent. Curb boost. Yeah, not terrible. I'd say it's it's pretty decent for what it is. Top speed right now. Yeah, it's alright. Again, it's not on the sports class, so you really can't expect it to have crazy performance, I think. 
for a big in the coops class, this is pretty good. Let's take one more corner at a higher speed. And there's a station wagon in the way. <laughs> Not bad. And it handles very nicely. It handles like a coupe, definitely. Like the Zion, Sentinel, etc. A bit of understeer, but not bad. Alright, let's pull over here. Let's open all the doors and stuff. I wish the wheels were like wide like the originals. I feel like that's a, that's a shame for this car. Um, vehicle doors. I might take off the wide body just because of that. <laughs> Alright, we got all... An engine bay came on nice with the black and the carbon on the valve covers. Looks really good with the titanium strut brace. Very nice. That texture quality in front of the engine, though, that looks a bit weird. I don't know. I don't know about that one. Street interior. I like it. A lot more detailed. I think it feels like it gives some life to this kind of uh, dated interior from the regular Coquette from 2013. Oh, the trunk. Oh, yeah, fuel cell and all that. That's part of a street interior. I like that. I think that's definitely a good option for this car. Kind of adds some more details here and there. Not too bad overall. And the steering wheel is off-center of the center of the uh, column. There's a lot of issues with this car. Um, stock wheels are wider than any custom one. A lot wider. And then the brake calipers are sunken into the rotors no matter what you do. Um, it's, it's a bit of a mess here and there. But... Overall, I think it's a pretty cool car, and it, it's probably going to be the king of the coupes class, so uh, it might be a good buy. Definitely expensive. I would hold off on buying it. Um, it's probably going to be on the podium. I wouldn't doubt it. So, as with most of these cars, you're better off just waiting, to be honest. On the podium, currently, at the time of recording this, I think the Fister Growler's on the podium, so it's not this car this time around, unlike last week when... It was the uh, the cipher came out and they put that on the podium at the same time. That is not the case um, for this week. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.